Jen here, and today I have a workout for you entirely seated in a chair. So we're going to go through strength and cardio drills. You don't even have to get out of the chair, but you're going to work every part of your body. Ready? Here we go. Let's just get warm here. You can take a seat at the edge of the chair. Think about a nice tall spine. Shoulders roll up, down, and back. Now I'm adding a little bit of a heel raise as well. I don't know if you can see it. Hanny's kind of in the way with my sidekick. Good. Raise the heels, raise the shoulders. Four, three, two, and last one. Bring those arms out wide. And we lean, just tilt. Try to keep your arms parallel to the ground. Feel that core moving. Ribs over hips. Good. Let's add those heel raises one at a time. Side to side. Oh, good. Now you can see it. Eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Let's twist it. Twist, double, 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 four more, three, two, last one, put those arms down, just lean side to side, still have those heel raises going, just moving the trunk in all directions, good, four, Three, two, and one. Hands to the hip and circle. Circle your upper body. Good. Can you switch directions? Go the other way. Three more. Two. Last one, let's march it. You don't have to march super high. This is a lot of work for your front hip flexors, but that's okay. We'll balance it out. Good. Keep marching, switch the arms, open, close. Good. Keep those shoulders dropped away from the ears. You don't want to be here. Four more. Three. Two. Keep the march. Keep the march. Switching the arms. Press down and back. Press. Feel your triceps engage on the back of your arms. We're starting to feel that march. Four more. And three. Two. Last one, out and in. Let's reach with this, reach, reach. You're making a little X right across your forehead. Good. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay right here. Let's bring our feet together. Keep yourself right where you are on that chair. We're going to work through the backside. How are you going to work through the backside when we're sitting on it? You're going to feel this. Here we go. Let's open those knees. Squeeze. And back. So you think about bringing the knees out. And you're going to feel the squeeze to the backside. Right in the middle of your back. Your booty is good. Yeah, keep going. When your knees get out here, really think about that squeeze. We have four more in that pulse hold. If your arms want to hold on to that chair, that's okay too. Three. 
two, hold. Butterfly those knees, open, open. My heels are touching if your feet have come away from each other a little, that's okay. Squeeze, squeeze, hips right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release, relax. Open up, bring those arms here. Open big and wide, we're coming down into a fold. If your fingertips sweep the floor, that's great. You're gonna feel a great opening through your hips. If your shoulders don't like overhead arms, feel free to go into that fly again. Let's slow it down even slower. Down and up. Again, go down and up. Three more. And two. Last one right here. Lift those arms up. Now, we're gonna go into bow post arms. If you're getting tired and you don't wanna sit on the front of your chair, go ahead, come back. All I want you to do is think about driving your elbows towards that back wall. Bow post arms right here, squeeze your back. Come back up. Squeeze down, think about every muscle in your upper back working. Okay, keep going, we're gonna go for eight more. Those elbows are going as far back as you can comfortably get them. Never putting yourself in pain. Good. Six. Five. Four. Last two right here. And one, hold, back, back, squeeze those elbows back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, release, relax. Let's go to the edge of our chair. We've had enough of a break. I want you to go ahead and extend one leg out really nice and long. From here, toes are coming up towards the ceiling as we lift and try to bring those knees in alignment with each other. Now, while you're doing this, your body might feel like caving backwards as you really try to keep yourself up tall. Use your strong core muscles. If you need help, you can always hold onto that chair. Slow up, slow down. Yeah. Four more. And three. Two, last one, press the ankle back and forth, four, bear with me, I know it's burning, three, two, last one. Now let's balance out all that hip flexion by extending that leg back in the So I'm going to turn in my chair, I'm going to drop that knee towards the ground and then just inch my foot back as far as it can comfortably go. Sitting straight up so that you can feel that stretch back there. Good. I have my arm hooked on the back of the chair. If that's not comfortable, you can have your hands here. We're going to start playing with that outside arm. I want you to reach forward. Pull back like you're opening the door. You have a twist in the core. You reach forward. Pull back. Again. Reach forward. Pull back. Four more. And three. Two. Last one. Open it to the back. Good. Let's tilt. And front. Lots of core work here. Back. And front. Two more. Last one. 
Good. Go ahead, come back, come back. Let's get ready for the other side. Leg, straight. Spine, tall. Ready? Let's lift. Slow up, slow down. Remember, don't cave. You can push down on your chair if you need to. Good. Ah. Oh, I wasn't counting. Let's just do five more. It's probably about right. Four. Three. Two. Can we hold it? Flex and point. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Oh my goodness. All right, let's balance it. Come side stance right here. Knee is down. Now, if you're a taller person, you might want to stand up for this. Just that what you want to feel is an opening through the front hips right here. So if you can't get your legs to move that far back, it's like you're a little tall. All right. Now that we have it, we can feel that stretch. Here we go with the arm. We're going to reach forward and pull back like we're opening the door. Reach forward. Pull back. Other arm can be hooked on the back of the chair or you can just hold it on your leg. Good. Reach and work the upper back. Four more. In three. Two. Last one. Good. Pull them out. We tilt backwards and forwards. Go again. Back and forward. One more each way. Yeah. All right, let's come back. We're going to work that backside again. Angles, feet together. Ready? Three, two, one. Come in. Yeah, we're pulsing it. Take your time. Open those knees, butterfly. That's how you get the squeeze back there. So if any of you ever have issues with um, like your piriformis muscle, or anything in your hip, this will directly strengthen. Two, one, hold. Three, two, one, hold. Try to keep your feet together. Three, two, one. Again. Three, two, one. Two more with the pulse hold. Three, two, one. Last one. Three, two, one. Hold and butterfly it back. Press the hands back to back. Back. I'm going to be here for a little while. Knees behind. Squeeze the butt. Eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Yeah. Little shoulders. Tick tock side to side. Good. Last ones. Nice. Without picking up any weights, we're just going to twist and punch across. You're reaching to the corners of the room, stretching through that middle back. Let's add some front kicks. Straighten that leg all the way. Flex your toes right back towards you. Ten more. Eight. Seven. Four. Three. Two. And one. Faster on the arms. 
Your wrists are tight. In line with the rest of your arms. No bunning. Ah, four, three, two. Let's roll it. Tighten up those fists, those wrists. Good. Can you lean? Shift your weight. Other way. Now, if you're okay there and you don't feel like you're gonna fall, let's add that leg. That's it. Ah, do it again. Whoa. Don't tip over. Two more. Each way. Last ones. Arms quit. And we flutter kick right here. Kick it. Kick it. Lean back. Stay safe in your chair. Woo. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Set them down. Good. Let's open up the hip a little bit more. Open. Reach. Pull back and come together. Same side. Open. Reach. Lots of back work. Can we add the other arm? Open. Pull overhead. Try it again. Open. Pull overhead. You can always go back to just one arm. That's okay. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Roll those shoulders. Let's get the other side. Open reach. One arm first. And then we'll add that new movement. Ready, both arms. Up and over. Up and over. Back. Up and over. Back. Up and over. Three more. And two. Last one. Up and over. Good. Now, if you have weights, you can grab weights. Otherwise, fist over fist. Row. Row. Those knees are coming back. Up. Up. Yeah. Lift. Lift. Keep rowing. Twist the waistline side to side. Eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Good. Open wide the chest. Stretch those arms back behind you. All right. Roll the arms. Now, if you have weights um, or water bottles or books, we'll go ahead and grab those now. Okay. Bring one on either side. Hands are facing forward. We're just going to curl those weights up. Open into a press. Down. In. Yeah, do it again. Up. Open. Overhead. Now, if your arms don't like going overhead, I know a lot of people that maybe have shoulder injuries, you can just go into that nice, easy fly. I'll show you that again. Good. So this is your option if you don't want to go overhead. But if you're able, Track those shoulder blades and do it. Keep going. Three more. And two. Last one. Good. A little more shoulder health here. Let's take those weights out and in. 
Good. Keep that rotator cuff healthy. The rotator cuff is made of four little muscles, and they really help with all nine joint actions of the shoulder. You want those shoulders to stay as healthy as you possibly can. Three more. And two. Last one. Can you hold it out here? Press and in. Your weights need to be really light. If they're starting to get heavy, put them down. Just make the motion. Yeah. Four more. And three. If your arms don't go all the way to straight, you can only make it to there. That's okay. Two more. Last one. Lean forward. Tip over in your chair. We're going to bend and straighten at the elbow. Straighten those arms back behind you. Bring them right back in. Straighten back. Work your triceps. Side view. Back and down. Good. Keep those elbows in the same place. Try not to let the elbows go all over the place. Not yet. And it's not necessary to curl up to your shoulder. Not working the bicep yet. Oh, good, I mean. Yeah, there you go. Both at the same time, you can do it. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Turn your palms to face the back wall. Little tiny presses up. Work the upper back, the back of the shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yeah. Go ahead. Put one weight down. We just have one weight here. And we're going to work through the chest. So what I want you to do, um, and you might not be able to see this work done, I want you to squeeze in. Squeeze. Press those palms into that weight. And release. Squeeze. If you have a soft ball or you want to use something softer than this, that's okay. You can even actually go palm to palm to squeeze. We're engaging the chest right here. Ah, I have a weight. I like it. We can keep using it. Squeeze, release. Squeeze. Release. Squeeze. Good. Keep going. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Drop that wave. Rest your shoulders, rest your chest muscles. Come to the edge of your chair. We're going to flex that foot and curl back. Come right up. So we're taking that leg behind, looking through the back of the leg. Let's add that weight back. Cross it. Shoulder to hip. Bend that knee back. Good. Flex the foot. Work the hamstring. Side view in case you can't see. I'm coming back. Good. Oh, how many more should we do? How about five? Four. Three. Two. Last one. Figure eight that weight side to side. Shoulder, hip. Shoulder, hip. That leg we just were set it out long. Relax through the hamstrings. Couple more. Last two. And one. Good. Rest it down. Shake out your arms if you need to. All right. We're going to work the other side hamstrings. We're kicking back as far as you can handle. Flex the foot. Get a little resistance. Create your own resistance by flexing that foot. We'll start with leg only. Bring it back. Good. Squeeze back. 
squeeze back. Good, keep going. Should we add that chop? Shoulder hip right here. Good, keep going. Know that hamstring's feeling it. Your foot is flexed. Toes pointing back towards you. Five. And four. Three. Two. Last one. Good. And figure eight here. Take that leg forward. Stretch out the hamstring or the back of the leg. Eight. Seven. Four. Three, two, and last one. Good. Put the weight down. Woo. All right. I think we've earned um, a well-deserved stretch. Turn off the bangy music. Oh. And we're going to continue with that stretch. We'll start with the leg that we just worked in. Come forward. All right, we're gonna take that same leg, go back into that side lunge, and then drop the knee back behind. If you want to release the foot, you can flatten your foot. If that's not comfortable, just keep it curled under. A little twist for the waistline. If you want to, feel free to grab the back of your chair. If that is uncomfortable, then both hands can be on your thigh. Look back behind you. One more deep breath, and we'll come forward. All right, we're gonna either cross at the ankles and lean, or we're gonna cross higher. And you can be in the back of your chair, that's fine. Now, if you can cross higher, this might be enough for you. You can use um, one hand to pull your foot in, and to maybe, maybe gently press the um, inner thigh down, but you don't have to. If you have any more flexibility, feel free to lean forward if this is, not your thing, then feel free to cross your ankles low and then you have a good lean forward. This is your thing. One more deep breath. And we'll take that cross a little tighter, giving that knee a hug and then seated spinal twist. Stretch the spine out the other way. Coming back center. And let's do that whole thing to the other side. Bring your leg out. Lean if you can, if you want to. Up to you. And taking it side lunge chair. Again, remember if you are tall, you can stand up and do this. Just hold on to your chair. Keep that balance. Good. Find that stretch through the front of the leg. And if you want to, go ahead and twist in the chair. Or you can just have your hands on your thigh. And coming back to where you were. And we'll go for that um, leg cross, either low with a big lean or high, using your hands to help you. Or seated spine twist. Twist over, grab your chair or just your thigh. One 
one more breath. And coming forward, coming to the edge of your chair. Making sure you're still sturdy. Open up your stance. And then we're going to drop one shoulder towards the opposite knee. Spiral stretching out the back. So it should feel pretty good. And other way. Good, big giant inhale, lift. Oh my goodness. And we're just gonna forward fold. If you can touch the ground, that's great. Grab your ankles or set your arms here. Whatever you like to do. Coming up slowly and stretching out that upper back. Now, if you have um, osteoporosis or arthritis, be really careful with your hands. I wouldn't recommend this kind of stretch, but you can keep your hands clasped right here. Otherwise, if you're fine, go ahead and stretch it out. You're stretching out that upper back. Keep your shoulders away from your ears, though. Go ahead and stretch the back of the arm. Tap your shoulder with your hand if you can reach. If not, you can stay a little lower. Help yourself out with your other arm. Good, across that arm, across the body. Reaching somewhere between the elbow and the shoulder and looking over that shoulder if it doesn't hurt your neck. Good. Kind of roll out that arm. Shake it, shake it. And let's do the other side. Reach that hand right on your shoulder, right behind your neck there. Breathing deeply during this whole thing. And we'll take that arm across the body. Look over. And release, roll that arm. And we're going to take our thumbs down, back, and behind, stretching out the biceps and opening wide through the chest. Breathe deeply. If you want, you can grab the back of your chair and lean forward a little. If that's too much, stay right here. And we're going to end this workout with one big, deep, cleansing breath lift.